Hi, my Aquarius. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your X's and O's spread for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I um, already shuffled and laid out the cards. I took out the shuffle because it's um, it's taking a little bit longer. Um, and I have uh, kids that could be screaming or crying in the background at any minute. This always happens for the last video. So, um, so yeah, so this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. This is the X's. Yes, Dory. This is the X's and O's spread. Um, so, I'm just going to start with the last card, Mirror. So, I feel like for a lot of you, you um, you are exactly like your ex. I know you're not going to want to hear this. This is not for everybody, but you guys are a lot like your ex. So, you, the universe gave you, gave you something like mirrored something to you. Like, so, whatever you're projecting out there is what you're getting. So, if, yeah. So, if you're still acting like your ex, guess what? Who's coming back or somebody just like them? The ex. And then I see the three of vessels, so there will be a reunion. I feel like each sign has has a bit of a reunion coming with an X. Um, I also feel like for a lot of you with the five of vessels ecstasy, I feel like a lot of people are mourning you, and they they're feeling like they were they it was ecstasy when they were with you, especially if it, if um if Aquarius you were dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, I also feel like for those of you that were dealing with water. I feel like this person's like finally putting the pieces together. Like, okay, I had this with this one, that, the other. I had all of these things. I had everything that I've pretty much been searching for my whole life. I had it with you, Aquarius. Um, not me, but, you know, the ex. <laughs> um, so, so they're seeing that they had everything with you, and now they want a do-over. They want a, another chance. Um, I feel like they might be a little bit tight-lipped in the beginning of January. But by the end of January, they're going to start speaking up. And then for those of you that were dealing with that Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy, this person um, doesn't want a reunion. They don't want to get back together with you. They're actually pretty selfish. And they're actually just, you know, try, trying to find the bigger, better deal. You know, I feel like they just, they want to be seen. They want everyone to look at them. They're like, oh, I'm, I'm free. I'm single now. So I wouldn't really hold your breath on an earth sign. They're not coming around. And then you have... um. A lot of water here. A lot of water. So, um, wow. Yeah. So I feel like um, with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, but I also do feel like it's it's a lot of earth. I'm not really seeing too much air energy, your air, but I'm not really seeing it otherwise. But I do see that the streams have dried up. I don't know if you can see this with this earth sign. Do you see that little stream down there? It's it's dry. So that means like there's no emotion anymore. It's all desert over there. So this person's moving forward. But I do see that strong, strong water wants another chance. For like if for those of you Aquarius that were dealing with water at all, um, I feel like you want it, they want it, you know, there's definitely gonna be a reunion between water. But as far as fire, Sagittarius or Aries goes, I feel like um this person's trying to soul search and trying to find themselves. Maybe after they get their shit together, they'll be back with you. But other than that, I feel like you know, they got a lot of work to do. All right, my Aquarius, ta-ta for now.